And Jesus, we thank you for your body broken for us. So we break this bread this morning in remembering you. What a pleasure that is every day to remember you. And as we break this bread, we thank you for enduring the cross, breaking your body for us. So we could walk in health. So we eat this this morning, remembering your sacrifice, giving thanksgiving and praise to you, and activating, releasing our faith as we eat this. We release our faith that we are well and whole because of what you did. in agreement with your word in agreement with the spirit in agreement with the blood and we say yes to salvation yes to righteousness <coughs> excuse me yes to holiness yes to your amazing love and your amazing grace so I thank you and I praise you Father for offering relationship to us. So we enthusiastically agree and we remember that Jesus entered into the holy place once with his blood to obtain eternal redemption for us. And we declare that by drinking this this morning. Thank you, Father. So wonderful. You're so wonderful. Hebrews. Hebrews Hall of Fame, Chapter Eleven. Verse 16, 11, 16, But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly, wherefore God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he hath prepared for them a city. So it's talking about the New Jerusalem. <coughs> and now we're going to go through a list, a giant list. I guess we'll probably break it up. Of all, all these people in the... Uh, Old Testament who had faith in God and some of the things they did by faith Abraham when he was tested offered up Isaac and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son of whom it was said in Isaac shall thy seed be called accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead from which also he received him as a figure. By faith Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on upon the top of his staff. By faith Joseph, when he, was, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel and gave commandment concerning his bones. By faith Moses, when he was born, was hidden three months by his parents because they saw he was a beautiful child and they were not afraid of the king's commandment. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, um, let's just stop right there. We won't, let's don't do Moses. Well, quit. <coughs> oh, quit but here's Abraham, Isaac, <coughs> Joseph, and the parents of Moses. We don't usually think about them in the Hebrews list. No, but we are, and we should. Uh, but they were they had they had great courage. Um, yeah. 
kind of they were listening to God because he orchestrated them what um, what mom puts their baby in a basket and floats him down the river mm -hmm. down the Nile of all rivers where the crocodiles are the hippos and giant yeah, she, fish she had courage she, uh, she I think she was God. just desperate she believed God God told her to do it <clears throat> yeah so, she got a word If we're going to walk by faith, wife and son, <laughs> sometimes it's, it's not going to make any sense to your brain. And then you're going to have to make a... You're going to have to make a choice. That's what all these people did. I mean, Abraham, he, he did a couple of amazing things. He left civilization, so to speak, and went out into the wilderness because God says, I'm going to, sh I have a land for you. <laughs> oh yeah? <laughs> well, that's cool. But, says who? And then, after 25 years of believing God for a son, he has a son, and then God tells him to kill him. So we, we don't have the explanation of the full story, so we don't know how much God actually told him about all this. Um, but it says that in verse 19, uh, Abraham accounted, that's an interesting word, accounting that God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, which from which also he received him as a figure. <clears throat> so it was a type uh, of this ram being substituted for, for his only son. Uh, there was a foreshadowing of Jesus coming. And then, I, I never have really studied this or noticed this or whatever, but Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph right here, it says by faith they spoke things over their children. Mm -hmm. That's what all of them did. How about that? And because they spoke these things, God then fulfilled what they said over their children. So that probably means... <coughs> Pardon me. That probably means that we should be speaking wonderful things over our children. Yeah, always. And declaring... Um, So Isaac blessed his sons, Jacob blessed his sons, Joseph, um, gave commandment concerning his bones. So he believed that the, the children of Israel were going to, to go back to this promised land. So he told, he left instructions, and, it, and I think it even mentions it in the Exodus. Um, that the children of Israel carried Joseph's bones with them to be buried back in the promised land. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think it, do they, do they even show it on Cecil B. DeMille's movie, The Ten Commandments, don't mm -hmm. they show yep. his, his bones? <laughs> they do. Carrying his bones back. Um, uh, Moses' parents, I can't, is it Jochebed, his mother? I don't think we, yes. I can't remember if his dad's name is mentioned, but uh, <sighs> Satan had an indication that the, that the deliverer was going to be born. So he started killing the babies. 
in order to prevent <coughs> such a thing from happening, but deliver from coming. And he was right. Just like when Jesus was born, Satan started killing the babies because he knew the deliverer was coming, and he was right. It wasn't some idle speculation. He was correct. Mm -hmm. Like start killing all the babies and cross your fingers? Well, he didn't know which one it was, apparently. What? So, um, so uh, to me, that uh, gives us warning. We better, we better take warning that Satan might not know exactly what's going on, but he knows the time frames. And so in our day, uh, we know that he's preparing for the second coming by what he's doing. He knows Jesus is coming back. He knows this thing is going to ramp up. So his job is to try, my opinion would be, what he's trying to do is to get man himself to resist God because man has authority here. And so he's trying to, going to try to get us to use our authority to resist God and say, no, you can't come here. That's what his you know, plan is, so to speak. <coughs> <coughs> but it's not going to work. So, Father, we... Father, we, we declare that we want to be uh, those who don't shrink back. But we, we continue on. And we're, we're going to rely on your grace and your mercy and your courage and your power to enable us to resist uh, Satan. So we choose to draw near to you this morning, Father. We lift up our hearts and our thoughts to you. We, we lift up our lives to you this morning. And we say, bless your name forever and ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending Jesus. We receive every good and perfect gift from you. We say yes uh, to, the Holy, to the leading of the Holy Spirit this morning. We say thank you for all those wonderful people <laughs> that you've sent uh, into our lives and all the people that came before us. Uh, we just thank you for this great, this, that we are surrounded by this great cloud of witnesses. I think we're going to, I think that's uh, Hebrews 12. So I think that's coming up. We'll get to talk about that some. But I thank you for the great cloud of witnesses that the Word speaks about. Um, and some of these ladies who've, been, who've uh, gone to heaven say that these witnesses, this cloud of witnesses over our lives, they, they declare the truth of the Word of God. They declare destiny over us. So we just thank you for that, Father. And we say that we want to come into agreement. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> we want to come into agreement with our destiny. We don't want to uh, resist you, and we certainly don't want to get in the way of the plans that you have for this planet. And we thank you for for our lives uh, being part of what you've got going. What a privilege, what an honor it is. <coughs> Excuse me. We know the enemy tries to distract us and tries to get our brain focused on something scary or something uh, upsetting or something uh, that we don't understand or we want something different or we. How come this has taken so long to do this or that or the other? So, Father, we, we, we declare that we don't want to be part of that. We don't, want to, we don't want to fall into His traps. But this morning, we want to rehearse all of the good things that You've done for us and for our households. All the good things You've done for the, for the body of Jesus, the body of Christ. So we want to rehearse those things this morning. We want to declare them. We want to meditate on those wonderful things all day today. Anytime uh, a, any kind of stray thought tries to come in and steal our peace or rob our joy, we want to just cast it down 
um, 2 Corinthians 5, I think it says, um, taking captive every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, uh, casting down every imagination. And that's what we want to do this morning, Father, is cast down every thought that would exalt itself against you and against your word. Your book is very clear about how much you love us. And you said that you supplied all of our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And that's what, that's where we're at this morning, Father. We're saying yes, yes, yes to your word and to your provision <coughs> in every aspect. We thank you for the blood of Jesus uh, on the mercy seat that is declaring that we are righteous and holy. We come into agreement with that. We cast down uh, any kind of flesh <laughs> or any kind of lying devil spirit that would try to uh, deceive us uh, about anything really, but we want to acknowledge that you have made us righteous and holy and acceptable in the beloved that Jesus sat down <coughs> excuse me, at your right hand and obtained eternal redemption <laughs> for us. So we say, yes, Lord, sign us up. That's where we are. We're in your presence. We're in the body of Christ. We are in the fellowship of the saints that we have entered in to the holy place with Jesus, that we are seated at your right hand, a joint heir with Jesus. So we thank you for that, Father. We declare that this morning. We say that that's who we are. I know the, <laughs> the enemy is going to try to define us as all kinds of things, uh, all kinds of legal fictions, uh, as well as uh, terrible things like the sick or the sad or the poor. No, we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. That all our needs are met. That uh, Jesus is our shepherd and we are his, the sheep of His pasture. And He leads us beside the still waters. He leads us into the green pastures. He restores our soul. Uh, you prepare a table for us in the presence of our enemies. So that's what we're looking at, Father. We're looking at you. We're looking at what you have said about us. And we come into agreement with that. And we say yes. And all the circumstances and all these little things that pop up and down uh, you know, day in and day out, whatever. We say no, we're not going to give them any weight. We're not going to give them any credence. We're not going to give them any authority in our lives. We, say, we declare that we are healed by Jesus' stripes. We declare that we are righteous. <coughs> we declare that we are sons and daughters of God. <clears throat> and that you love us with an everlasting love. That n you said nothing can separate us from your love. Neither life, nor death, nor height, nor breadth, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor rulers of the darkness. Nothing, <clears throat> nothing can separate us from your love. So we declare that, we receive that, we acknowledge that, we rehearse that. That's what we want to do every day. Father, we want to rehearse what you have said to us so that we can stand in the evil day. And having done all, which is just agreeing and believing you, with you, <laughs> Having done all, we stand. So, Father, our desire is to yield our, our will to You so that when You tell us all this cool stuff that You've uh, prepared for us to do, that we say, okay, let's go. Let's do it and we'll not be afraid. We'll not try to figure it out with our brain as to how this is going to work, how we're going to figure this out, <clears throat> how we're going to pull this off, we won't think like that. But we'll, we'll just relax into your arms. <coughs> <coughs>
we'll just, excuse me, we'll just, <clears throat> we'll just follow after you. We'll just rely, uh, rely on our faith that you've given us. We'll rely on the book and the words of God that you've given us. We'll rely on the, the revelation and the information you provided for us through uh, our brothers and sisters, <clears throat> through the words that have been spoken over us, through prophecies given to us, uh, through the things that you tell us. And that's where our faith will be. Our faith won't be in us. Lord, help us to get over that and stop trying to trust in our own uh, abilities. But we want to trust fully in what you've provided for us. So you've given us uh, everything. You said you've given us everything that pertains to life and to godliness. That you haven't held, you haven't held anything back from us. <clears throat> so we have all that we need uh, to stand as a man. <laughs> to stand as a son of God. So we want to add to the authority you've given us as a man. We want to add the authority of the Son of God that you've given us joint uh, rulership and joint heir. We are a joint heir with Jesus. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot of, of an inheritance. That's a lot of authority. So we want to be very mindful of the things you've spoken over us. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> and we want to begin to implement on a daily basis those promises <clears throat> and those things that you've spoken over us. And we want to make it real. We want to make it uh, tangible. We want to make it accessible to those around us and to us and begin to walk uh, in these things that you've given us. So we know the time is short. We know that the 2,000 years is, is up. And so now we're just in the uh, uh, preliminary uh, warm-up period <laughs> for the, uh, the end of the last days for the, uh, this great and terrible day of the Lord that is about to overtake the planet. Uh, we don't know if we're days away, if we're weeks away, if we're months away, if we're a couple of years away. It can't be long. It can't be very far away. So, uh, we know that the Shemitah begins, uh, I think, tonight. <laughs> yes, the Shemitah begins tonight. So we know that uh, that's a very important uh, time frame on your, on your calendar, on your clock. So we want to be very mindful and aware of the things that are happening in our world so that we can be ready. You said to watch and pray that we would not enter into temptation. Well... Father, you know that we have not watched and we have not prayed enough and so we have been tempted and we've entered into way huge, <laughs> huge temptations. So we say this morning, Father, we repent. Once fresh and new today, we want to change our minds about all that stuff again today. And we say, no, we're going to resist the devil. We say, yes, we're going to draw near to our Father. We're going to obtain all the things that you have for us. So we say yes, yes, yes. <coughs> like that great song that somebody wrote several years ago. Yes, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. We say amen, amen to all the promises. Because we know that they're just for us. So hallelujah to you, Jesus. Hallelujah <laughs> to your Father. But those promises are yes and amen. And we want to just abandon and avoid and 
get rid of any doubt or worry or fear, any sort of angst that the enemy would try to place in our hearts. And just because our brain doesn't know the every minute of every day of the future doesn't mean anything. So we, we choose to relax. We choose to rest in your presence today. We choose to enjoy you as we go to, to work today, as we, as we go out, as we bless the, the people that you brought into our lives. And we, uh, we just ask that you bless the household that we're going to this morning, Father. <clears throat> that you flood them with abundance. That every good and perfect gift that comes down from the Father of lights would be available to them today. And we just release that over their hearts and lives today. <clears throat> and I thank you for doing that. <coughs> Excuse me. I just, I just delight in you this morning, Father. And we just want to spend time uh, blessing you and honoring you all day today. That as, as often as we would think of you, we want to just do that. And, and Father, I ask specifically today for wisdom to respond um, to the law firms and the mortgage companies and whatever else um, involved in the things that we're facing. <clears throat> I ask you, Father, for wisdom uh, to obtain provision for our household. Father, uh, we declare your word that... Uh, uh, God makes all grace abound to us that we always have all sufficiency in everything and an abundance for every good deed. Uh, we uh, thank you, Father, that we give and it is given to us good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Shall men pour into our lap? Father, I thank you for that. I bless you. I magnify you. I honor you. <clears throat> I'm glad to be part of uh, what you've done for us. How, how lovely and wonderful you are. So Father, I, I ask specifically this morning that you open doors of opportunity for us to increase uh, our provision and that you uh, protect us from any bad doors, any doors that we're not supposed to go through, we're not supposed to open. Father, that you would Save us uh, from any mistakes or deceptions the enemy tries to throw into our path. Um, we want to just walk with you and not make mistakes. Not follow our flesh. Not follow the devil <clears throat> or any of his lying spirits. Any of the, of the demons. We don't want to follow any of them. We only want to follow Jesus. We only want to come after you, Lord. So that's my desire. So we're asking and we're seeking and we're knocking. And you said that if we would ask, uh, you would provide. We're doing tag team, tag team praying this morning. I was on the phone just now with a client, and now my husband's on the phone with a client. So, nope, now he's off. <laughs> I'm just praying. <laughs> so we're praying for the the people, <clears throat> right? I told him I was on a client with a client. Power to the people. <laughs> well, we bless you, Dad, Lord. We just thank you, Dad. Yes, we you're do. You're Dad. You're the, you're the best dad there is. Yes, you are the you are the best dad there is. So we want to of all the dads. We want to flow with you today. That's my desire, Father, is to flow with you. And I know the enemy tries to rob our peace and steal our joy, and uh, get us to rely on our own strength. In our own resources, but well, we don't want to do that. No way. Mm -mm. No so, way. 
We thank you for, <coughs> Father, I thank you for our YouTube guys and gals, and I thank you for this list of folks that you've given us to pray for. So we'll say goodbye to our YouTube people <coughs> to protect the privacy of, of those on this list, just in case they don't want their names being prayed out loud in a public setting. <laughs> so we just uh, uh, thank you, Father, for each person. Anyone who's listening, or speak peace over their households, uh, grace to their lives, provision, uh, love, joy, healing, every good and perfect gift from the Father. Now we just declare that over your house in the name of Jesus.